What's up YouTube? Melton Metal Anthony here with another one for you. So this one's gonna be about the top five tools every mobile welder should have on their truck um, without the obvious things. Um, I'm not gonna get into the crazy tools like my crane, uh, but you know, I'm not gonna talk about a truck. I'm not gonna talk about the engine drive welder that everybody needs. Just tools that I use on a regular basis. Um, things that I didn't originally think of when I first got into this business, but that have turned out to be game changers for me. Um, so some of you guys who are just getting into it, hopefully this gives you a kickstart. This gets you a little further ahead than I was. Um, really, I hope it helps. So let me just go over those tools with you real quick. So if you look in this cabinet right here, I keep this on my truck at all times. This is a Evo cold cut chop saw. And this is a game changer for me. If you're doing field fabrication or really anything that's gonna require you to cut a mass amount of uh, stock of really up to any size. I mean, I think this one is the Evo and it does up to five and seven sixteenths solid round stock, which is crazy. Um, half inch thick uh, wall thickness on a tube i mean that it's just insanity to do that with a grinder is super time consuming if you have to make a lot of replicated pieces out in the field this is the tool for you all right the next one is in this dewalt box but anyway let me let's pop it open let me show you what i'm talking about here mag drill um i didn't even know these existed when i first got into this business to be perfectly honest with you um, I got into welding from working at a demo company. Uh, I had a knack for it. Guy asked me to try it one time. Uh, was successful with my first repair. So um, when I first got into the business, I didn't know these things existed. But let me tell you, this tool right here, absolute game changer, especially if you need to drill multiple holes or you need to drill very large holes. As you can see, these annular bits get pretty large. Um, I believe this is a two and a quarter hole here. I'm not sure what I was using that for, but you can see I've almost trashed the bit by the bluing on it. These annular bits are not cheap. Uh, they run uh, anywhere from 50 to $200, depending on what you're getting and how crazy you're getting with them. Um, worth every penny. But along with the mag drill, you're definitely gonna wanna have cutting fluid. Um, I just happen to have this one on the truck. I have no preference. They all pretty much work the same. It's just water um, and oil diluted together. Um, this is Roto Magic. I got this at my local welding supply. I think it was like $7. It's lasted me probably 100 holes. I don't use a whole lot, but um, absolutely necessary if using annular bits. I learned that the hard way. I burnt up a couple of hundred and something dollar bits. All right, the next set of tools that I think every mobile welder should have on their truck is, well, for me, it was a game changer, uh, are welding reels. Um, it's important you get a good brand. Don't go buy like that Cox brand reel. Um, those suck, I've tried those. Um, don't try to make them out of a rim or do anything ghetto like that. Spend the money. If you're a real mobile welder, you should be making enough money to buy yourself some quality tools. You don't just buy these tools for yourself. You buy them for your customers. Um, you can justify a hundred, a hundred and twenty, a hundred and fifty dollars an hour if you can take a job um, where it might take you know your your average Joe with just a, a you know a uh, engine drive on his truck, you know three hours. It only takes you an hour and a half because you have uh, convenience tools like these reels. Um, I have the uh, coupler locks from Aluma Reel. Um, Aluma Reel is my preference uh, simply because I like dealing with Randy Ballard. He's a great guy. Um, he answers the phone personally. If you make a big enough order, he'll drive to you. So super guy. Uh, I suggest you check him out on, I think he's got a YouTube. I know he's got an Instagram. That's how I got a hold of him. Um, I also know Magnum Reels makes reels. Uh, I heard their quality. Um, didn't like their customer service, didn't go with them. Just being honest, no offense to you guys. If you see the video, if you don't, screw you. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring you over to the backside of my truck, something that I keep in there constantly, my cooler. Um, when I first started, I tried uh, water, keeping water several different ways. I mean, I tried, um, you know, big jugs. I tried those thermal jugs you see now, like the stainless steel ones. 
uh, tried old school thermoses with water, just was never enough for me. So what I did was I went and got a roto mule cooler. Uh, I believe this one is just some Amazon cheapy. It works okay. It's a Landworks cooler. Uh, let's see if I can't get a shot of the front of that. You can see it's pretty trashed already. Um, it works pretty good. It's got these latches. It's not the best. It's not a Yeti or whatever, but you know, it does its thing. And then you can see that's five or six days though. That's why it only has water in it. You know, it is Sunday. I will for refill tomorrow, like you've seen in my all day video, uh, following me around. So let's move on to the next tool I think is absolutely necessary if you're a mobile weld. All right. So for the last tool, this is probably the most important tool you're gonna have in your arsenal. Every mobile welder, every shop welder, every pipeliner, anyone in the welding industry is gonna carry these on the truck. It's an obvious one. I said I wouldn't do obvious ones, but it's my video. You make your own video. Anyway, um, grinders, I know. And I'm gonna shout out again, and I'm, I'm not getting anything for this. I've shouted them out several times, Metabo. Just spend the money. It's just like anything else. You spend the money, you buy it once, you don't have to deal with it. I've done DeWalt, Milwaukee, uh, you name it. Everywhere from Harbor Freight. And they all give me trouble. I, they all blow up at some point. I am rough on my stuff. This is a rough industry. You know, I do everything from sewage treatment to stairways to construction to crack repair to cast iron repair to aluminum welding to fabrication to you name it. The more versatile you are, the more money you're going to make. Um, these Metabos have never let me down. Um, I carry on me the Flathead 5 inch. Uh, they've been, it's been a great grinder. I think I've had this one for two years. Never let me down. Um, and if you've seen the very first video I came out, that was me unboxing the six inch. And as you can see, it's only a few months old, but I've already put it through heck and back. Um, I just can't say enough great things about these Metabos. Between the quick releases, you know, where you can just, I mean, you've seen how effortless that was for me. I mean, sitting there with a tool, messing around, uh, trying to pop a disc off that's stuck, uh, it's not worth your time. You spend the money on the Metabo, you save yourself probably a half an hour each job not screwing with discs, taking them back on and off. And I suggest that every mobile welder carries at least two to three grinders. One for your wire wheel, one for your cutting discs, and one for your finishing flap disc, maybe stone discs, whatever you use more. I use more flap discs than I use stone. Um, so that's it, guys. Those are the top five tools I think every mobile welder should carry. If you carry these tools, I guarantee you're gonna have a successful job most days. I mean, there's no guarantee of every job being successful. Let's face it, there's no guarantees in this business. But um, you're definitely gonna up your efficiency. You're definitely gonna have a lot of happy customers and a lot of people that think that uh, you're quick. When I'm, I'm really honestly slow as molasses, I just had the right tools. So uh, guys, if you like what you saw here today, um, if it helped you at all, Give me a subscribe, like the video, comment on what your thoughts are on the top five tools that every mobile sh uh, welder should have, except for the obvious. If you say engine drive, I mean, I don't know how to help you. You're, you're lost. I've only said 35 times, not the obvious stuff. But anyway, um, like I said, if you like it, you know, like it. If you uh, want to subscribe to my channel, you want to see more, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, otherwise, I'm Melton Metal Anthony. Thanks for coming along with me today and uh, checking out some of the tools I have, checking out some different parts of the truck. Anyway, hey, keep on welding, keep on doing what you do, and uh, thanks.